So hey everybody, uh, like I said, what we got here today is two little, uh, I consider them mini skillets. Uh, they are five inch round and five inch square. And these are the little skillets that come out every year and are packaged for the holidays and come with some kind of a uh, baking uh, package with them, whether it be a brownie, a cookie, or whatever. I think this one has a dip mix with it, and this one's a brownie mix. But, and when these come out every year, um, you can get them all over the place. It's the same darn skillet. Um, Walmart sells them. Similar deal to this with like a no-name, um, baking kit in it for five bucks uh some of the department stores will sell these uh the difference is is that theirs has like a a name brand like a snickers cookie kit or an m&m cookie kit something like that and they get 10 bucks for it uh same skillet so anyway that's that's kind of and i've always I passed on these last couple of years and I had my wife chase down a couple of these this year and these were actually five bucks at not Walmart but some other store can't remember where so anyway uh, let's go ahead and get them open and see exactly what we got here so this one has a brownie mix and I could really Care less about that and this one is the one I believe has a dip dip mix in it and as you can see it's a square one so I believe this is a five inch square and this is a five inch or approximately that round this one looks like it uh well let me back up for a minute i've got some other mini skillets and some that i've gotten from aldi and the crofton line and what have you and why they work fine i don't i don't use them and i'll probably get rid of them at some point because you know, they've got more of a traditional side on the pans. And whatever you're cooking them, they're just hard to get stuff out of. These, what I liked about these, these are more like a griddle. And they got the low profile edges on them. And they seem like they would be a lot easier to get the stuff out of them. And, you know, just feeling them. I feel like they're very nicely casted. They're nice and flat. They're not smooth, but I don't look for that really anymore. Um, you know, the thing on that, I I have found that, yeah, while you sanded them down and you made them all smooth and everything for your stuff to slide around in and what have you, it made the seasoning process harder. It was harder to get the seasoning to stick um, to those. I prefer just to... Uh, when I get a new piece of cast then, uh, unless it's super, super rough, I just go with it and I do my own seasoning process right over the top of what's here. And that consists of, I'll take my oven up to 450. Um, I'll rub them down with Crisco and then basically remove as much of it as I can and what that does is it leaves a small thin layer of oil on it that will polymerize while you have it in the oven at that 450 degrees and for about an hour. And what I do then is I do that like two or three times and I'm good to go. So, and that, I mean, looking at these, I think that's what I'm going to do with these is run them through my, uh, seasoning and then i'm gonna cook an egg in them and see how they do so that's All what right, we'll do so next. we got our skillets here 
Got a little bit of oil and a half a tablespoon of butter in each one. And they're ready to go. So let's go ahead and get a egg into each one. There we go. It's one thing with cast iron and eggs, you do not want to um, have your skillet super hot. I'm going to pull that back a little bit. Get that egg to center. All right. Get the other one ready here. Right in the middle. All right. All right. So we'll let those go. Do their thing and bring it back here in a few minutes when we're closer to getting them out. All right, right guys, as you can see. We're doing pretty well. They're sliding around. They're just not an issue at all. And they're about ready to get out here, so. I think you can see this is, these are definitely perfect for uh, doing a breakfast sandwich, you know, something you just need a couple of eggs. Perfect. Boy, we splattered all over the stove there anyway. All right, guys, that's it. These are neat little skillets. These, these hey, are everybody. Keepers. Hey, thanks for stopping by and watching it today. I tell you what, uh, if you see these little skillets around and you're into cast iron and uh, in particular, you like to make breakfast sandwiches and things like that. They work absolutely perfect for that. Um, like I said, I re-seasoned these a little bit over the top of the seasoning they had on them. Um, I think I ran it through maybe twice through the through the Crisco process and what have you that I use. Uh, but cooking eggs in them absolutely work phenomenal. And I mean, really, realistically, that's really about what they're they're really good for. I mean, maybe uh, you know, uh, doing a sandwich in the square one that would work pretty good too. But uh, if you're out there and you see them and you're into that, check them out. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.